So, of course, you know, we referenced it in our last episode together, The Last Dance. That's the only time I know what day it is because oh, for sure. That's my day entire day is planned around being having my ass on my couch at 9 p.m. Right. to catch The Last Dance. You're, and you're very, uh, it's what, three weeks? Four, three weeks in? Been three weeks, yes. You're very, very committed to that 9 o'clock. That's a, it's a hard 9 for you. Paul. Oh, Pause. definitely. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Yo. A hard nine? Oh, man. Damn. <laughs> Listen, at nine o'clock, <laughs> Travis ready to watch <laughs> the last dance, okay? <laughs> Nothing else. I think because of the streaming era, like, we no longer rush home at a yes. certain time. It's been a while since been, we had to do that. Yeah. The only time I actually normally do that is if the Lakers are playing at the 1030 game okay. or the 330 game. Or you know, you know, you know when the Lakers is on. So that's when I'm actually like paying attention to the time and mm-hmm. I'm rushing. Wow, RIP to basketball. Wow, it's probably like week three of the playoffs right now. Wow, we're missing yeah. everything. Yeah. But normally that's the only time I'm on I'm on time. Um but with the last dance, it has brought back that sense of like, yo, I gotta get home by nine kind of thing. Absolutely. Or if I'm not gonna be home by nine, we're staying where we're at. Those are moments that you just can't miss, like culturally. Like you you need to be in the moment. Like the memes are fresh in the moment, like it hits different in that moment. And I, I, like, like we said before, it's something that's that's appointment television that we haven't like made an appointment for in a long time. I do the tweets every once in a while. This Sunday I didn't because you were fish frying. I was fry, I was frying fish. <laughs> <laughs> I was frying Sunday fish eats. as I was um as I was watching uh, the first episode, episode five. And then after that, honestly, I was just locked in. These I told you, these two episodes were my favorite. Yeah, episodes yeah, yeah. five and six. So I was just locked in. They talked a lot about MJ the man in these in these two episodes. Mm. So episode five, we've got him, um, like we've got him basically deciding, hey, like I'm gonna change sneaker culture forever with <laughs> Nike. And one thing I didn't know. Like, I didn't know his mom was the one pushing Nike, and he wanted to run with Adidas. Nike was just kicking off. Nike was... Um, it was the upstart. It was upstart. They were strictly track. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't even think they had a, 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 a featured athlete yet. Um, not really, no. Uh, uh, basketball-wise, I no, believe. No, absolutely not. So, it was brand new. And I, so, I kind of get that. I kind of get where Jordan was coming from. Mm-hmm. Um, but when you don't know that history... And you see the collection of Jays throughout the decades, you're like, oh, like he was he was with Nike from the Jump Street, but it's like now, nah, like he actually had dreams of Adidas. Yeah, dreams. Yeah, Adidas was me. was popping back then. I just think this this documentary, these these episodes, you know, they they deep dive into Mike as the person. Right. And I was telling you earlier, the episodes about Dennis Rodman, about Phil Jackson, about Scotty Scottie Pippen, Pitt. they were great. They are nothing compared to Michael Jordan. Yeah, Nothing. They're not as interesting. They don't have as much like depth. Yeah. They they are vanilla <laughs> compared to compared to Michael Jackson. What would you Michael say? Jordan. Michael Jordan is ice cream flavor. Michael Jordan What's is Michael Jordan's ice cream flavor. Uh, to you? He's definitely like a rousing raspberry. Oh, do you hear yourself? A hard nine for a rousing raspberry. 